really like just it was a beautiful place and there i had some really good experiences i met i met people uh, the biggest thing i met or, or or found was like anywhere i was i talked to somebody that was from scotland they were like vacationing in another part of scotland which i was like that's weird i'm like we rented a car and drove around the whole country in a few few days you know like uh i'm like how could you have never seen this place and i was like well wait a minute i've never spent a night an hour away from my house in Pennsylvania, two hours away from my house. So we started going on these little trips where we would go just 45 minutes away, get a hotel room, have some dinner, hang out. Uh, and that's become a fun little way of kind of like, uh, so after having that experience there, talking to those people, you know, that were like from one part of Scotland, but then they were in the Isle of Skye, which is another part of Scotland that they've never seen and never been to, and they were vacationing there. I was like, and I was like, all right, well, I need to take in a little more of what's around me um, to appreciate it a little more and to see what's actually there and stuff. So that was a cool part. Do you want to travel or do you have any, any aspirations to do that? Is that on your, your list of things to do? Big time, yeah. 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 I just want to see everything because, I mean, if I have the opportunity to. But, yeah, and it's – Again, it's a big appreciation thing, like not like because, uh, you know, we have this place in northern Wisconsin and it's just I, I'm, I'm obsessed with just like culture and just like how different cultures are. And it's just it's interesting that, um, you know, nobody else would really suspect that how different a culture within the same state, just, you know, three hours north could be like it, and oh, it's, yeah. it's great. It's a complete shift like up. I mean, well, I, I feel like. Wisconsin, like you said, is um, agricultural and it's different things, but like mostly agricultural. I feel like that experience is probably a lot like the experience that people have here in Southeast Pennsylvania, especially Lebanon, Lancaster, in some of the areas that's some of, because those are really big agricultural areas then and now, like they've continued yeah. to be. Um, yeah, but I feel it, like a lot of that, a lot of that, uh, you know, might might have a lot of parallels there, uh, where in the area I'm from is different from those areas because it's been boom and bust so many times where the wealth of the area has left. Yeah. But the wealth in the area down in Lancaster was farming then and it still is now. So like it might have decreased, but it's still there. Like it's a way that's more substantial in a way that yeah. is like, so it is, you could be in a totally different place in three hours. But it's all perception too. Like, like the average person would look at, you know, up where my, up where my cabin is, is like a shitty middle of nowhere like just absolutely nothing and there's there's oh, not much you know we're on a lake but which is nice but you know in the especially in the winter there, there's not a single soul for 20 miles um but you know it, it there's there's a lot of things to do i guess in wisconsin summers but you know the things that we'll do on an up north trip like it especially you know when we were you know 16 17 and we were just driving up there alone and we would stop at the at the adult gift sex shop and just like go to the bars and we'd be like literally 16 years old and they'd be they'd be serving us some cervezas and it's just like it's a whole nother world that's like the the wild wild north up there man like it's <laughs> for being being 17 18 years old and seeing that like it's just sounds like fun man <laughs> it's, uh, i'll tell you